Algorithms working with inexpensive software could help quadriplegics steer wheelchairs simply by looking in their desired direction of travel. An Imperial College London team says their newly devised system can read eye movements to tell if a person is merely gazing or wants to move. Co-designer and student Kirabin Pillay says it's simple to use. So at the moment I'm just looking forward at, um, towards the floor but exactly at points on the floor that I would like to go to and the wheelchair is responding. So if I look rightward slightly towards Will, I'll move over, or I can go look left as well. And it just responds to my gaze or my, my desired location that I would like to go to. Visual information detected by cameras trained on both eyes is analysed by algorithms within 10 milliseconds and translated into instructions for movement that's almost instantaneous, says researcher William Abbott. We actually move our eyes uh, up, upwards of uh, three, three times a second, so there's a huge amount of information there. Um, so essentially we track the pupil of the, of the eye and uh, via a calibration process we relate that to where the subject's looking in, in, in the world around them. Multiple sclerosis or spinal cord injury patients with severe paralysis are usually able to move their eyes because they're directly connected to the brain. For now the team is keeping details of its decoding technology secret, but Pile says it's an improvement on existing eye tracking systems. Current tracking software often uses a screen based systems where you have a screen open and you uh, look at locations on the screen. The problem with that is that it's very simplistic and also it diverts the user's atten attention from um, the outside world uh, and therefore there's more risk of not noticing obstacles or other things in the way. While the technology has been designed for the disabled, team leader Dr Aldo Faisal from Imperial's Brain and Behaviour Lab says it has much wider application. You could use it maybe one day to drive your car, you could use it to teleoperate a robot, you may be able to fly planes or drones or spaceships with this type of technology. Tests on able-bodied volunteers found they steered through crowded buildings faster and with fewer mistakes than when using other eye-tracking technologies. Trials on disabled patients are about to start and the team hopes its system could be commercially available within three years.